This iPhone 10 has been damaged badly. Obviously, the back housing has bent and the screen is cracked. After removing screen, we can see it was repaired before. Let's replace a new screen and power on. Touch function doesn't work normally. Take out motherboard. Middle layer nearby the SIM connector has slightly split caused by pressure. Use DC power supply to pour on the motherboard and measure startup electric current. The current works normally. Measure ground resistance of digitizer connector with multimeter. We find the multiple pins has been disconnected. So we suppose that middle layer nearby the SIM connector has been broken in a large area. What if the lower radio frequency board cannot be repaired? We choose to replace the whole radio frequency board. Turn on Sunshine T12A CPU desoldering heating station. Adjust to 180 degrees and then separate motherboard. After heating, remove upper board and the lower radio frequency board. Then we need to take an intact lower radio frequency board and transplant the important components of general board on it. Generally speaking, the important components on motherboard include basement IC, basement EPRO IC, and Wi-Fi module. Because we can read and write its data with the program later, so we only need to transplant the basement IC. First, remove general radio frequency board thermal paste. Mark general basement IC. Clean the glue around IC chip with 330 degrees hot air gun. Then remove basement IC with 370 degrees. Apply some soldering flux and scrape paste off with electric soldering iron. Clean the basement IC with PCB cleaner. Then remove paste around it with scraper. Reboil basement IC with medium temperature solder paste. If you want to learn BGA reboiling skills, you can click the video showing on the top right we released before. Then remove reboiling stencils. Apply solder flux and heat it to make the solder balls even better. Put new radio frequency board into heating station. Let's operate the same procedure on the basement IC chip. Remove thermal paste with 330 degrees hot air gun. Heat with 370 degrees and remove basement IC. Apply soldering flux. Remove paste on the soldering pad with 330 degrees hot air gun and electric soldering iron. Clean with PCB cleaner, then remove remaining paste with scraper and hot air gun. Power on JC Pro 1000 as programmer and put genuine radio frequency board in, read out genuine board data. Put new radio frequency bot in and burn genuine radio frequency bot data into it. With this method, we don't have to transplant the baseband April IC, which is much more risky. After baseband IC chip data written, install genuine baseband IC on new radio frequency bot.
Then remove the residual solder paste on radio frequency board with the soldering wick. And repeat same procedure on upper board. Use low temperature solder paste and adjust humidity. Then reboiling solder paste on the frame of radio frequency bath with Mijin reboiling station. After filling solder paste, remove sensor. Solder paste was filled accurately on every solder joints. Put radio frequency board on Sunshine T12 ACPU desoldering heating station again. Heat at 180 degrees until all solder paste melted. Apply soldering flux on solder joints after radio frequency board cooling down. Put upper board on radio frequency board and align position. Heat with 180 degrees. When the temperature reaches to 180 degrees, adjust upper board slightly until it fits well. After motherboard cools down, take it out and install it back on iPhone. Power on. Now touch function works as normal and IMEI shows up too. Further activated, we found the Wi-Fi function cannot be turned on. Next, we try to unlock Wi-Fi with JCB box. Connect with computer, open JC Repair Assistant and enter DFU mode. Click purple screen, enter and click PCIe Unlock Wi-Fi, then exit purple to power on. With their method, it's not necessary to transplant the Wi-Fi module, which is also very time-consuming. Power on. Wi-Fi function is turned on now. Let's continue to activate the phone. Basic function works normally. Connect general ear speaker flex and insert SIM card. Cellular signal works. Face ID in rows works. Phone call works. Web page can be opened without any problems. Wall functions works well and motherboard repair completed. Even this iPhone 10 motherboard was badly damaged, but with master skill and great tool, you can repair it too. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and turn on the notification bell if you enjoying the video. See you in the next one.